What's up Power Maniacs, Power Stasis here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to not only install the 1.5.2 version of FTB, either with or without Greg Tech, but I'm also going to show you how to use the Big Dig configs for world generation so that the ore generation is drastically higher rate than vanilla. Now, first off, you're going to need to download two things. Um, you're going to want to either download the Big Dig version, um, into your TechIt launcher, or the easy way is just download the server that way you have access to the server files. So I've already downloaded the server here. The other thing is you want to open up FTB, and when you click on Filter Settings, you want to come down here to Mod Pack Availability, click on Private, click Apply Filter, and then uh, over here on Private Packs, you want to come over here, and the code, there's two codes. If you want with Greg Tech, you type 152 with Greg Tech, so it's WGT or 152 no greg tech since i already have with greg tech installed that's what my let's play is we're going to do it with no greg tech so you click add and you're going to notice the file now shows up here where it previously didn't you now have it set up and installed what you're going to do is you're going to double well i guess click launch and it will load up from here it does seem like they're having a problem with the launcher at the moment so it's not letting me actually log in which is kind of a bummer let me try refreshing Switch it to all, apply filter, and private pack, supply filter. There we go. Now it's loading, you're gonna see it's downloading the pack. Now while that's downloading, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to come over here to the Big Dig server files, and you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna see something like this. Now this is gonna be a little bit more complicated than some of the standard stuff, but it's still not too terribly hard. Now with this directory structure, what you're looking for is config. Double click on config, and then you wanna look for COFH. Double click on COFH. What you're looking for is the world.cfg. Now, understand that this is for Big Dig, so there's gonna be some ore types in this that are not in Feed the Beast. As far as I can tell, those ore types are simply ignored. I have done a couple quarries down to Bedrock and I never saw any weird generation things, but just as a disclaimer, you are using a configuration file for a different server type with different ore types it may make some funky things so anyways it's going to download while it's downloading um you're also going to, want to find your ftb directory now you're going to see i've got no greg tech with greg tech i don't want to touch with greg tech we're going to open up 152 no greg tech click on minecraft click on configs and you're not going to see this you've got your cofh you've got all your other stuff and now the thing's loading up so I'm gonna let it finish loading up in the background. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll let it finish. Because this is gonna load up. Now, once it loads up for the first time, you don't have the world generation files in there. It's not gonna do you any good. So don't start your level yet. Don't move any files in there because the files are currently being used. And there's a possibility that the files could be overwritten and anything you do may get undone. So let it finish loading up for the first time and then you're gonna close it. Now. What we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take, and I guess I only have the one monitor on record so I can't show you guys exactly, but right here, we're in the COFH folder. This over here is Big Dig. This over here is FTB. Open up COFH, we've got world config. Notice it's six kilobytes, world config 10 kilobytes. So once this is done loading up and it finishes its stuff, we're gonna close the window out. We're gonna drag world CFG over and then we're going to start everything up and we should be good, assuming this doesn't take for freaking ever. Gotta love the, the length of time it takes for these things to load up. And it should be just about finished. Now, this is also gonna add flat bedrock to your system. So you will have flat bedrock. Uh, it will be one block deep. It'll be all the way down at uh, two on your character crate, on your character's version of the minimap, but it's actually at one because your character is actually two blocks high. So it, it feels a little odd. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click quit. We're gonna click world. We're gonna drag world over. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna copy and replace? You wanna say yes. It's gonna copy over. We hit F5 here. It's 10 kilobytes, 10 kilobytes. Close this out and then we fire FTB back up. Now every time you fire FTB back up, the filter is gonna switch back to the default view. So you have to come back over here to private again, click apply filter, look for no Greg tech, and you can start it up just fine there. Um, it may tell you that there's an update, uh, don't update. 
it shouldn't. Uh, if it keeps doing that, you can update one more time and then drop the file back in and it'll stop telling you. But for the sake of this video, and I don't want it to be 25 minutes long while we continuously load um, this up, we're just gonna kind of run with it. And then I'm gonna show you guys real quick the proof that this works. And you don't have to have thermal expansion for this to work. Uh, one example of this is Hexit. Uh, Hexit also uses the, the something similar to the Big Dig configs. They probably actually took the time to make their own um, or specific folder types, but uh, it, it's it's heightened and they don't have it. They don't have it on that server. So that's that's one of the things that you can do. Um, you can also go and edit the file and you can adjust the ore types that you prefer personally. Like let's say you actually want diamonds to be hard to find, you can move those down. You can make specific elements spawn in smaller clusters, um, change the heights, kind of however you want it to go. Uh, it just takes a little bit more time and for me personally it's just a lot easier to just drag it over and you know kind of hope for the best. Um, but like I said, you know I've been playing for I think I've got about 10 hours into my Let's Play with this and I haven't had any problems with it so far. So I'm pretty sure it's stable and you won't have any issues with it. But like I said, bear in mind. All right, so we're gonna create a new world. We don't really care what it's like. Start that shit up. And there's two, easies really, two easy ways to really test this. Uh, one, if you get lucky and you find a um, a mountain or something in the area you can fly over and you'll be able to see if the ore generation is higher up and then you also want to check the flat bedrock option to make sure that uh, your bedrock's flat if that's something that you care about for me personally flat bedrock's kind of a big deal for you it may not be just kind of keep that in mind oh it is taking forever to load all right so we've got it loaded up um, I don't see us near any mountains so let's just go down and test Let's go down and just test. Whoa, here we go. Well, we've got, I think that's diamond right there. We're right here at 48. We're seeing diamond. We're seeing lapis lazuli. Um, lots of copper. Uh, there's some more stuff over here. It's kind of dark because I don't have any form of night vision on. Let's go ahead and dig down. Is it actually in here? It is. Let's just do that. There we go. All right, so we're at 17, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, boom. And as you can see, we got flat bedrock. And like I said, we'll come back up top. We've got redstone at 33. We've got a bunch of other stuff we can now see. Yeah, I'd say we're enjoying the configs. So that right there, my friends, is how you get uh, not only the 1.52 version of Feed the Beast, but also how you go about uh, installing the configs. Um, you can see over here on this mountain across from us, we've got a very healthy amount of ore that's actually above ground. And this will allow you to get started and enjoy the, uh, the building a little bit less painfully, if that's something you choose. So. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.